How is plutonium-239 made? Have you ever wondered how a substance like plutonium-239 is created? This isotope plays a significant role in both energy production and nuclear science. Let's break down the process of how plutonium-239 is made, step by step. Is primarily produced through a nuclear reaction involving uranium-230, which is a common isotope found in natural uranium. The journey begins when uranium-238 captures a neutron. This absorption transforms uranium-238 into uranium-239. Now, uranium-239 is not stable. It undergoes a process called beta decay. During this decay, uranium-239 emits an electron and an antineutrino, changing into neptunium-239. This first step takes about 23 and a half minutes. Next, neptunium-239 is also unstable. It undergoes another beta decay, which takes around to 0.36 days. This decay converts neptunium-239 into plutonium-239, completing the transformation. These nuclear reactions mainly occur inside nuclear reactors. In these reactors, uranium fuel rods primarily contain uranium-238. When the reactor operates, neutrons released from fission events are absorbed by uranium-238 atoms. This process creates uranium-239, which then becomes plutonium-239. The plutonium-239 produced is quite important. It is fissile, meaning it can sustain a nuclear chain reaction similar to uranium-235. This characteristic allows it to contribute significantly to the reactor's energy output. After the uranium fuel has been irradiated for several days, the plutonium-239 can be separated from the spent nuclear fuel. This separation process involves dissolving the irradiated uranium fuel in acid. Then, chemical processes are used to isolate plutonium from uranium and other fission products. Is not only vital for generating nuclear power but also serves as the primary fissile material in nuclear weapons. Its radioactive nature requires careful handling and control due to its potential applications. In summary, plutonium-239 is made through neutron capture in uranium-238, followed by to beta decays. This process occurs in nuclear reactors, and the plutonium-239 is then chemically separated for various uses. Understanding this process is essential in the context of chemistry education and the standards set by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry.